Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Option Pit. It is your home for options, education, and trading. Uh, our event on the 22nd. Okay. Yep. So, um, uh, the 22nd, uh, iron condors, butterflies, trying to find better times uh, in the market for these kind of conditions. Today, you know, actually might be one of those days, I have to say. So what kind of do we have going on? Oh, yeah, by the way, our, our webinar is the 22nd. If you're an Option Pit member, uh, Option Pit Live or above, you get it for free. Actually, all our, uh, all our monthly webinars, uh, we do about 10 uh, per year, and it would save you a... Uh, oh. It would save you a whole gaggle of money by just by becoming a, a Option Pit Live member or a Gold member. Um, that is the easy way as we look at Twitter. Uh, that was a blog yesterday. Um, really what I want to do is we'll even look today here for Google. I don't know how big this corporate action is going to be for Google. Um, but the market likes it. Um, it's about as high as we've seen in... I think this is right. This is the close to the very highs. Uh, note, though, the volatility is not really coming down in here. Uh, it's actually going up a little. Uh, this was a shock. So we'll take a dive into this a little bit more. Uh, volatility at 24%, though, is not hugely high. Uh, we actually looked at an idea in here. I think one of our clients wanted like an upside fly with a put, which actually I think did. Uh, what did we look at in here? I think it was last week, right? Uh, I think it was like an upside fly with a put. How would it have? Oh, wouldn't have done that good. <laughs> what are we looking at? 4670. Hmm, kind of weird since it's sitting right at 670. That's a funny one. Anyway, it's right at the middle strike. Sorry, I'm a little confused on that one. Oh, it's because I don't have the fly checked. <laughs> there we go. Would have done okay and paid for the fly. Like, what am I missing there? Yeah, but it would have done okay. Went right to the middle. So, not a bad, it wasn't a bad idea for the protected butterfly there. All righty, now back to the market conditions. Uh, well, without China buying stuff, um, oil's down, right? All of a sudden, the little commodity rally we had, um, you know, 3% move in USO, and I'm just looking at crude. It looks like it's down around the same. Um, China devaluing, you know, not great. Is this a time super to step into stocks? We have been rallying for the most part, or actually going nowhere fast with the China gyrations. So probably we wait at some point to set up for a uh, a bounce. Uh, and let's just see how the day plays out. Yesterday, literally, we had um, straight up buying on algo-driven news, I think, of all the, um, you know, China was going to what? They were going to lower interest rates. Yeah, they want to do something, right? But no country has ever, I think, devalued their way to wealth, right? It is a desperate um, it's a desperate ploy usually. Gold reacting slightly, only up fractionally. Um, but mostly, as you just see, commodities not doing great, especially oil. So the little oil rally we had is starting, at least it's starting to just, uh, what we'll just call hold out. Yeah, I know. Yeah, when you overnight devalue a currency, that always unsettles things. It also unsettles people that are investing in China. It's never a great thing. But, hey, they're trying to control an economy, I think, that is now kind of like the Fed has to deal with it. You have to kind of telegraph things. Yeah, you're At some point, it gets too big, and there's only so much you can do. It's a tough ship to turn. 
So I think at least right now, whatever's going on in China, not great. So you could see, again, more weakness in oil. We've had some trade setups like that. Um, I think we could look at, uh, again, flies again here. But I think we maybe will take a look at a, a little less delta. But we do have a pop in vol. And the amazing thing is China devalues and VIX is trading 1332, although it's upticking. It's not like it's jumping huge out of the gate. Uh, I think we even thought about uh, some time spreads in the SPX yesterday into the close, which actually would have looked okay. But, you know, those crazy rallies on interest rate changes, you know, they just keep rallying to the end of the day, but eventually they don't, they really don't hold up very long. So I think we'll, we could look at China because I don't think uh, as far as the equity market is not liking it. We'll see if we can find something in there. Um, and we'll also look at Google. Just them splitting the stock, is it that bullish to unlock value? Well, I guess we'll take a look at that as well. All right. So all I would say is it's it feels like this is sort of the first round, and we'll see how long our, our sell-off lasts. But, you know, the market is taking it pretty well overall, to be honest. So it's been resilient. I just I don't see a whole lot more downside, but it's basically giving back what we saw yesterday. And the, like I said in the blog, um, we are stuck between a range of 2050 and 2100. Um, and that's kind of where we are. All right. All right, everybody. Uh, you have a good day, and I will see you at 1015. We can start our chat and uh, start looking for some stuff to do. All right, guys. Bye-bye.